I'm going to show you today how to hook up your Pinnacle or Dazzle capture card to your TV to record gameplay. It is very, very easy and it will only take a few minutes. The devices you need, your Pinnacle, the cord that comes in the box, an inline connector. This one has three hooked together. You need all three or you can get three individual ones. This one's just easier. Three of these two male, one female AV jacks. You will also need a separate AV cable with two inputs. And your video game AV cables. Very simple. What you do, you plug the power cord into the back of the pinnacle. Well, not exactly the power cord that will run into the computer and give it power. Plug the other end into your computer. Which will give it power. It's lit up now. You take your AV cables. Plug it into the dazzle. Yellow for yellow. White for white. Red for red. You take the other end of your cables you just used. Plug them in to the three point connector. White for white. Yellow for yellow. And red for red. You take your splitters. These three pieces. Plug one male end into each point. Do your best to remember which color you plugged it into. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Now, you have three female ends and three male ends left. Take the three female ends and plug your video game cables into it. Red into the red port. White into the white port. And yellow into the yellow port. You see this one's yellow, lines up straight with the yellow here. This one's white, lines up straight with the white port here. This one's red, lines up with the red port there. You have three ports left. These go into the TV. I am plugging mine in here because I have it hooked up to the TV so I can play, hook up, or turn on eight different systems without unhooking everything. Red for red, white for white, yellow for yellow. Now, everything's plugged in. What do we do? Everything's plugged in the computer. All's well and good. We activate our program on the computer, which you already loaded. It may take a minute to load up. Sometimes it does that. You're going to need a very good computer to run this on the digital video setting. Mine has 4 gigs RAM, laptop, purchased about 6 months ago for about 500 bucks. Pretty good going. You go to your import button in the top left corner, which mine happens to be because I got a pinnacle instead of a dazzle. Click it. It'll give you options to choose from. The first option is usually your device. If you have a webcam attached or some other port, it'll give you other options as well. No signal because we haven't turned on the game system. Okay, turning on the game system. Give it a sec to warm up. There it is. You're not recording yet, but what's happening on the TV is what's happening there. We press the capture button down here, bottom left, bottom right corner. Give it a sec to start loading up. We can't see it very well because of the camera quality, but when it's recording, the timer will start indicating that it is moving. Since there's no, there, 
uh, occasionally you will have missed frames which will show below the time. Since there's none now, it does not show any missed frames. If you want, you can play by watching the computer screen or by watching the TV screen. One thing to notice, the TV screen will be slightly darker as you record because you're splitting the video signal into two ports. One to the computer, one to the TV. That's normal. It will record in regular color, just like it would if you recorded straight from the TV. Then you play your game. Alright, hope this helps. Have a good day.